Today, we're making a delicious salsa verde. So this salsa only has a few ingredients, but it packs a ton of flavor. I really like it with some beef dishes like a skirt steak or a fajita. For the ingredients, all we have are tomatillas, white onion, cilantro, jalapenos, lime, and a little bit of seasoning. All right, to get things started, I really like to start by roasting some of the vegetables, the, the onion, the tomatillas, jalapenos, and even the garlic. I think that really helps uh, cut down on some of the acidity and gives it the, the flavor I really like. Now, I'll do this over an open fire sometimes. That'll give it a smoky flavor. Uh, we're, we don't have that here, so we're gonna be uh, doing it under the broiler for just a few minutes. What you're really looking for is a little bit of char on the outside. Uh, of all the, of the vegetables. And you gotta really keep a close eye on it because the garlic will, will kind of get roasted a little bit quicker uh, underneath that broiler than say the, the onion or the jalapeno. Uh, but we're gonna let that go for a few minutes. And the first thing we're gonna do is get our vegetables on a tray, and coat them in some oil. So this recipe, like all of our recipes, can be found at crowfood.com. What you'll notice is this recipe is gonna call for two jalapenos. By all means, add more. If you like it hotter, go for it. So we've got the jalapenos there. Now we're gonna take some garlic. and add three or four cloves here. All right, now these tomatillas are gonna have a skin on them. We're gonna pull those off. And if you will, you kind of pull it back and you just kind of twist it. It's gonna come right off. Um, as this little uh, stem in, I think it's fine to leave on there. If you want to, you can just cut it off. Uh, I usually just leave it on there and don't really notice it, so. Uh, but you'll notice they're pretty sticky, so I usually do this last. Pull those off here. I've got five or six tomatillas. And a lot of times you'll see that these will have some dark spots like this. Uh, once I get these peeled back, we're gonna go and just give them a quick rinse before we cover them in, in some uh, olive oil, uh, right before we throw it into the broiler. All right, now that we've got our ingredients laid out here, we're just gonna hit it with some olive oil before we throw it into the broiler, make sure everything's got a little bit on it. And we're gonna throw this in the broiler. All right. This thing is scolding hot. So you can see we're starting to get some good char there. This is, we're gonna call this good. Again, I really love doing this over a smoky uh, charcoal grill. That just adds another element of flavor. Uh, but now we're gonna throw all this into a blender. Tomatillas are going in their hole. So is the garlic. Now the jalapenos, like I said, I'm gonna cut the stem off of it. And then I'm going to uh, just use the edges. I don't want it to be too spicy. Uh, my wife in particular doesn't like very much heat. Uh, I'd be lying if I said I could handle the hottest sauces in the world either. So that's how we like to do it. You kind of adjust that for your uh, spice tolerance level. Of course, we're gonna add a big handful of cilantro. Don't be afraid to get the stems in there. That's got plenty of flavor and they're good to eat. We'll go with a handful, probably a half a cup or so. And I really, really recommend using fresh cilantro, nothing dried. It's gonna give a totally different flavor. And we're gonna go in with a bunch of lime juice. Now to get the most juice out of the lime, give it a quick roll with a lot of pressure on it, then slice it. It's gonna break those fibers up and allow uh, all that juice to come out of there a lot easier. You can also take some tongs, put it between the handle there, and that allows you to get some better leverage. The next step is to season it with crow fajita rub. Now, if you don't have any of this and don't wanna take the time to buy it at our website at crowfood.com, um, we have some salt, chili powder, some uh, smoked paprika, some cayenne, a lot of those uh, bold Mexican flavors here. Um, but definitely you're gonna want a little bit of salt, uh, some black pepper, things like that. Now, another thing I really like to do that I've gotten some mixed uh, feedback on is I like to add just a little uh, teaspoon or two of sugar. Um, the tomatillas, the jalapenos, uh, the lime juice especially, it's all really acidic ingredients. Uh, I really find that that sugar helps cut down on the harsh acidity. Uh, don't do it if you don't want to, wait and add that in later. Uh, again, we don't like it too terribly spicy, that also helps with the spice level. So maybe you add that uh, sugar in there last if you think it needs it. Personally, I really like it, but I know it's not very authentic. And lastly, I'm gonna take these jalapenos, Cut the stem off of it and just kind of cut the sides off. If I get a little bit of the core, that's fine. Uh, but we don't want too much of it. We're gonna throw this right into the blender. Also, be sure not to go scratching your eyes uh, after dealing with a jalapeno like this. I, uh, I speak from experience. 
I tell you. It's not very fun. All right, now all we have to do is blend this up. Now, this is one of those things that is going to get better as you let it sit in the fridge for a few hours. Even the next day, it's, it's possibly better the next day. Now this is uh, very warm coming out of that broiler, so you're going to want to sit in the fridge for a few, at least at least for 10 or 20 minutes, but I like to let it sit for a few hours. Even though it's hot right now, we still want to go ahead and taste it to see if it needs any, uh, any more lime juice or anything like that. So let's give it a taste. It's always surprised me how those few ingredients have so much flavor. I love this salsa. I use it on so many things and it's not hard to make. Just a few ingredients, and I've always, always gotten feedback with this for any kind of party I make this for. It's it's a really, really delicious salsa. Go give it a try. Mm. The full recipe can be found at crowfood.com, along with our rubs, merchandise, and dozens of other great recipes. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching.